Hello again, this is Samir Ali, a director of Edify Elite, which is a product of Edify group of companies. So we're back again with another video on US universities. And since the common app is now open, you must uh, you all must be engaged in making your college lists. And uh, I would like to guide you a little bit on these college lists and how students often make the very crucial mistake of not picking the right universities in their college lists and only aiming for universities which have very low acceptance rates. I am well aware that uh, this month most of the students in Pakistan receive their GCSE results and their national education results. And uh, I did come to know from some of my fellow colleagues and my friends that the A-level results did not come out as expected for many students, which does lead them to doubt themselves that would they get into a good university, would they get into uh, Ivy League university or will they get a 100% scholarship. So in order to ease your pain, in order to relieve that stress, I am here with another video. I would like to guide you on how and what to consider when you're making a college list and how not to make that mistake that many students make and not to aim for universities that have a very low acceptance rate and have a very diverse kind of college list that does leave you with some safety. At Edify Elite, we do believe in three things. We believe in making a college list that consists of universities that are some some of them are your dream universities some are your reality universities and some are your safety universities so since the results are not coming out as expected and many students are feeling stressed feeling anxious feeling disappointed i would like to talk to you about some universities that can be very great safety and reality options for you which do have 100% scholarships which have a very good program in certain areas and do have ex great and exciting campuses and campus lives so stay tuned to this video and you can learn a little bit about how you can make your college list and what universities to really really add in your college list uh, if you haven't subscribed to the page, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do and do tell your peers as well. So uh, let's start this video. First of all, in order to eradicate the mistake, in order to make a complete college list you need to consider a lot of factors you need to consider your grades you need to consider your SAT scores you need to consider your uh, your extracurricular profile and you need to work hard on your essays now there are a lot of students which dream of going into Ivy League universities or which dream or who dream of going into universities that are in the top 20 ranking but Sometimes your profile, sometimes your SAT scores and sometimes your results in your academic uh, studies do not really uh, live up to the expectation of these universities and at the end of the day the student ends up wasting a year of his life trying to reapply next year. They uh, don't follow through with the deadlines and then end up not having any university which they hold an acceptance from and where they can go. So what we believe in Edify Elite is that you should at least apply for 10 to 15 universities. When you make your college list, it should have a diversity to it. You should always have three to four universities which serve as a safety for your own benefit. Now these universities don't have to be those type of universities which don't have a good campus, which don't have uh, financial aid to international students, which do not have a good program. But these, there are more than 5,000 universities in the US and among those universities, there are certain universities which have a very high acceptance rate, which have 
very good programs and high employability rates which have a great campus life but students miss out on these universities or do not consider these universities because of the sheer number of options that are available so i'm going to talk about some of these universities which i have highlighted uh, for you to really get an idea that there's a lot to be offered in the US there are a lot of universities that are never highlighted there are a lot of universities in which you can easily get into and get a 100% scholarship so let's start with our first university uh, i would like to talk to you about the university of miami so the university of miami has a very good ranking it's in the top 100 the fun fact or the very interesting fact about university of Miami and it is very unique to University of Miami only that they have the same fee for domestic and international students. So most of the universities out there, their fees vary. Some have fees that are different for domestic students and are different for international students, not some most universities. But University of Miami is unique in the fact that they have a singular structure for international and domestic students, so both have the same uh, fees. Now, University of Miami, uh, if you explore it a little bit, you'll see that they have a great campus life. Uh, they have some programs which are very renowned, such as biotechnology, bio, uh, business, finance, and so on. These uh, courses are very famous uh, in uh, this university. I would also like to point out one thing, it's kind of generic, not related to University of Miami, that is that you should never look at a university uh, on a singular structure, you should never look at a university based on just one criteria. Some universities may not have a very good ranking sometimes, but you sh what you should do, you should look at their ranking in the program that you are interested in. So a university might have a lower ranking, but sometimes as for University of Miami, they have a very good business program and a very good finance program. So their ranking in that subjective area is very high. So you should never look at a university in a singular manner or in a straight line, but you should explore more into their programs, which they have to offer. So University of Miami does have a 20 to 30% acceptance rate, which is very uh, great in number in contrast to an Ivy League university, which has three or four or the top 20 universities which have about three to four acceptance three to four percent acceptance rate but university of miami has 20 to 30 percent acceptance rate uh, when we talk about university of miami's tuition fee the tuition fee is about 50k uh, that is fifty thousand dollars per year before scholarships so this number might sound very scary fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money per year and most students cannot afford this number when you're not actually living in the US and you're not making uh, your money in dollars. But when you look at the scholarships, when you look at what kind of scholarships you can get, then this number might come to even this might uh, number might even come to zero or this number can be greatly influenced by scholarships. So again, as I've told you in uh, previous videos, there are two types of scholarships. There are merit-based scholarships and there are need-based scholarships. So University of Miami does have both of them. They have uh, merit-based scholarships and they have need-based scholarships. Uh, if you get a merit-based scholarship, a merit-based scholarship, mm, in very few circumstances can cover up to 100% tuition. But when you couple a merit-based scholarship with a need-based scholarship, then you can reach uh, up to 100% scholarships. So when you apply for a, a merit-based scholarships, you don't need to, uh, when you apply to the university, there's no need for you to um, fill out a different form and the university automatically considers you for a merit-based scholarship based on your academic grades, based on your profile, based on your essays. However, when you apply for a need-based scholarship, uh, 
you need to fill out the CSS profile. Now again, I would like to point out that the university application deadlines and the CSS profile, uh, CSS application deadlines do differ and students really need to watch out for this, uh, these deadlines and uh, apply to the university as soon as possible and meet both of these. Moving on. Uh, let's talk about the next university in our list that is the University of Notre Dame. Now the University of Notre Dame uh, has his, its ranking in the top 300 universities in uh, the world but the acceptance rate of this university is also very high. It is about 15 to 20 percent uh, the acceptance rate of this university but the most interesting thing about this university is that if you read a little bit about this university, if you explore it a little bit, you'll come to understand that some of the programs offered in this university are par with Ivy League universities. Now, some of the, again, I'll say it again for clarity, some of the programs that this university offers are considered to be as good as the those same programs offered in Ivy League universities. Now, the tuition fee of this university is again about sixty thousand uh, dollars per year that is a great number or that is a big amount of money uh, but that is before scholarship this university is known for its programs such as pre-medical mechanical engineering and computer sciences uh, and this university does have both merit-based and need-based scholarships now this university is and has a very old and very renowned campus there's a great campus life over here you can uh, search it on google and find out the images of this university look at the images and i will have to say and you will be impressed by the different facilities and the different uh, investments this university has made for the betterment of its students now again uh, you will be automatically considered for a merit-based scholarship when you apply to the university but uh, for the need-based pro uh, uh, need-based scholarship you'll need to fill out a separate css profile the next university in our list is very interesting and you'll be very happy to hear about this university the next university is texas a and m kingswell now this university has uh, its ranking in the top 200 universities the most important thing and the thing that is going to excite you the most is this university has one of the lowest fees for its ranking in the US now the university fees rank from 25000 per year for undergrad and 14000 for postgrad this university has an acceptance rate that is about 80 percent i'll say it again it has an acceptance rate about 80 percent so this can be a great safety college for you uh, it does not have a very big criteria of requirements that you need to fill fill out and getting into this university can be very easy if you have good grades good sat score a good profile and good essays now the fee of this university is on such a level that even without scholarships it can be manageable through doing different uh, co-op programs it can be achieved through doing different jo odd jobs and working on campus or engaging in different activities that uh, can like be very financially beneficial to you this university does have such programs that do offer you employability while you are studying so you can work in the university on such programs that do have a financial reward towards them and that can in inevitably go towards your tuition fee uh, <clears throat> okay uh, again you can also join ta ship programs that are also financially rewarded that can go towards your fee now this is the kind of university that should be in your college list, that should be a safety for you, that in the worst case scenario, 
if if you even don't score a very very high sat you can aim for this university even if you don't have straight a grades you can aim for this university if you don't have very high achievements in your extracurriculars you can aim for this university but again the more the merrier if you have good grades if you have sat good sat scores if you have a great profile if you have good essays you should still have this university as a safety in your college list in order to provide you with that a uh, sense of confidence that even in the worst case scenario i will have some place to go to this university apart from that does have different scholarships such as the presidential scholarship that is a merit based scholarship and that can come cover most of your tuition fee this university does have financial aid need based aid for international students and if you score uh, if you get rewarded with a merit based scholarship and a need based scholarship then the amount of scholarship can even go beyond 100% so again this is one of those universities which is very financially lucrative for students uh moving to the next university and honestly i am very uh, intrigued and i am always I always recommend this university to my students that is the University of San Francisco it has a ranking of 115 in the US uh, it's a very old university as well and it has a very big and vast campus it does hold a lot of socials and a lot of sports activities so the University of San Francisco is unique in another sense the campus of University of San Francisco is located in San Francisco and in the heart of the Silicon Valley. So when you're in the heart of the Silicon Valley, you have these great startups and you have these great tech companies just in the reach of your palm. So when you're actually physically there, when you're actually a near to those startup near to those big companies which have different internships which have a lot of employability uh, options for you. that can serve as a gateway for you that as soon as you finish your university you can get into one of those you know uh, startups or get into one of those uh, big big companies that are leading the world that are based and have their headquarters in silicon valley <laughs> now uh, with this university the internship options and the employability options in itself serve as a great motivator for students to apply to this university when we uh, talk about the acceptance rate of this university uh, the acceptance rate is somewhere about 70% again contrasting this with an ivy league university an ivy league university might have a, a acceptance rate of 4 to 5% or 3% but this university has a 70% acceptance rate and another great news for you is that this university has both merit based and need based scholarship for international students one other thing about this university is that you always have to look the in, at the enrollment sizes of different universities so if a university takes an enrollment size of 1000 students let's say hypothetically and among those 1000 you only have international students about 10% international students that's going to come up to about 100 students but when a university's enrollment size is bigger uh such as university of san francisco which has an enrollment size over 10000 and you have a 10% international uh student enrollment rate that is 1000 students so then again when you look at this and you look at the statistics of this you should come to the conclusion that university of san francisco should be in your college list uh <clears throat> in this university you can get up to 16000 to 20000 merit based scholarship again you don't have to uh fill out a different form for it you're automatically considered based on your extracurriculars based on your grades based on your sat score and based on your essays uh this university also gives out need based scholarship so uh for that again you'll have to fill out the css profile one other thing about this university would uh, i would like to point out that there are certain aspects and there are certain uh, characteristics about the university that uh, come uh, into 
your uh, understanding uh, when you explore that university and you look at the patterns of uh, universities enrollments over the years is that what the university is actually looking for in a student so the patterns become very clear to you when you look at the university of san francisco i have come to realize that this university very keenly focuses on your extracurriculars this university very keenly focuses on your uh, essays so even apart from your grades if you have a very great profile then this university uh, you have a very good chance of getting into this university so do consider university of san francisco in your college list uh moving on to another university and this is our last university which i'm going to talk about right now is the ohio wesleyan university it's ranked about uh 116th in the us this university is very easy to get into and can be a very great uh safety option for you this university has about a 75% acceptance rate which is again very very high uh this university is known for its uh, programs such as bio biomedical psychology and sales and marketing uh again you can look into these programs you can see h- how well the university is doing and the sheer number of facilities that they are providing for their students now a very interesting fact about this university is that international students are automatically considered for a 30000 merit based scholarship 30000 dollars merit based scholarships per annum based on their grades based on their profile and based on their essays and sat score so when diff- other in contrast to diff- uh, other universities other universities have merit based scholarships uh, somewhere around 15000 20000 for some universities just 10000 but this university has the biggest or the greatest number of uh, merit based scholarship for international students and just for international students they are promoting international students that comes up to about $30000 per annum now this is apart from need based scholarship so this is just the merit based scholarship again there is no separate application for this merit based scholarship and the university automatically considers you for this uh, merit based scholarships based on the criteria i have mentioned uh in terms of tuition fee the tuition fee without scholarship is about $50000 per year but then again if you get the $30000 merit based scholarship and then you also apply for a need based scholarship to, uh, after filling out the css profile this can take you up to 100% scholarship <clears throat> uh this university again you can look at this university you can look at the campus you can look at the different facilities you can look at the campus life and again you can add this university to your college list so these were who have low tuition fees they do have a very good acceptance rate they have need based and merit based scholarships for international students so i always encourage students to explore on their own and if they like a little bit of hand holding in their uh common app profiles when they're applying to the us universities edify elite is always there to help these students edify elite does hold its specialization in applying to us universities and allows students to reach their maximum potential and to score up to 100% scholarships or even beyond those scholarships so if you need any help with your making your college list if you need any help with your essays you need some guidance in applying to universities you can always contact me or contact edify elite and we'll take it from there so thank you so much for your time uh, if you want more videos like this if you want us to make it videos on top tier universities if you want uh as to make uh, videos on reality universities or safety universities do let us know in the comment section and we'll get to that thank you so much